Hello and welcome to another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I'm your host, Gabe Peterson, and this is the place investors go to gain actionable advice, learn about current market trends, and hear war stories from other professional investors out there in the field today. Before we get started, I have two quick housekeeping items for you. First, if you like this episode, we would very much appreciate a like, subscribe, and share. It is the best way to support the show and keep it running far into the future. Second, if you're a new investor looking to get started in real estate or an experienced investor looking to take your investing to the next level, I've created an ebook just for you that will cover how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance those deals with little to no money down, and how to exit those deals for maximum value. On top of that, I throw in an insane amount of free bonuses that you'll have access to once you buy the ebook. All I charge is our admin costs to keep this show running. So if you're serious about real estate investing and want to create both active and passive income as an investor, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com and click on the button that says, get the ebook in the upper right-hand corner to grab yourself a copy. With that said, let's dive right in. Today, we have a very special guest with us, ready to drop some investor knowledge on you. So buckle up, grab your pen and paper and enjoy the ride. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. Today, we have Andrew Schlag with us from REI With a Purpose. Andrew is coming at us from his car. He had a beautiful you know, power meltdown over there. But hey, just like in real estate, when shit hits the fan, you just come up with another solution. And Andrew is a shining example of that. So Andrew, thank you very much for, uh, for getting this done and getting on the podcast. Thanks for having me. I did not want to do it in the office in the dark. So here we are, but uh, <laughs> out in front of the office, excited to be with you, Gabe, and uh, looking forward to sharing some amazing stuff with the folks here. Totally, totally understandable. Nobody likes me talking in the dark. Um, <laughs> so, all right. I told you before we got on here, we like to start with stories. Uh, we like to hear how people got to where they are today. I know you got a good one because you, uh, you know, you guys have been growing so well. So why don't you take us back to the beginning? How'd you get started in real estate in the first place? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I was 21 years old and broke and over $80,000 in a medical debt from an unexpected hospital stay. Ooh. And what I wanted to be when I grew up. And so I'm, I'm from work construction and built new construction houses growing up and uh, uh, in the family construction business and had, you know, done all these different things. I was raised though in uh, the country in Southern Illinois, a town of about 400 people. And wow. so uh, it was a small town and uh, had uh, my, my dad had raised hogs, uh, had a pig farm. And then, that, see, that actually sounds like a fun childhood. I mean, just growing up with hogs and, you know, the first haircut I ever got, uh, they brought in the baby pigs to keep me from crying while they cut my hair. <laughs> so you can't uh, cry when you're looking at a baby. Uh, pig. No, no, it's a little squealing thing. So, uh, so anyway, growing up in that environment, I uh, was a preacher's kid and, and, uh, and my dad was a pastor, all of these things that, uh, kind of shaped my childhood. Well, at 21, you know, I'm in the hospital and, and didn't know what to do. And, and after getting out, I had some lingering challenges that, that slowed my, down my construction work. And so it was, um, eight, it was, uh, February of 2014 and I was listening to talk radio and I heard a radio ad of my now good friend and mentor, Ron Legrand. And the radio ad said I could buy a house with no money or credit. And so I said, well, that works for me. So uh, I wound up in April at a seminar in downtown Atlanta. And at that first seminar, got my first wholesale deal negotiated. And wow. uh, at the seminar, that is, that's great. Yeah. He had, uh, Ron had coaches in the room that helped me negotiate the deal. And so it turned out to a check a few weeks later and then got my first subject to deal a few weeks later All right. and yeah had just grew it from there so um by the so end wait, of uh, go ahead my, my brain got caught on uh on getting it done in the seminar were they doing calls like were you doing calls while you were at the seminar yeah so i uh i had made a mess before i left i put out bandit signs and i'd done a mailing uh, um okay. to sellers and this was a call off the bandit sign and so i got the call wow. and you are the only one who has got 
success of bandit signs i swear to god i tried it when i first got into real estate <laughs> those things do not work here in seattle it was on a dead end street too so i you know it was uh probably not the smartest place to put it but it worked it was my first three grand hey so. there you go it was fun so so yeah then it, at 22 uh years old so that was 20 i was 21 when that happened at 22 i bought 50 houses in a year and uh that's what really launched me to kind of a next level real estate business Wow, man. I love it. Um, and today you guys are, what, what's your focus now? And I know you do, I mean, you do wholesales, you do coaching. Um, do you guys also own and, you know, buy and hold? Absolutely. Yeah. I still buy and hold several deals every single year and, and, uh, wholesale several deals a year and, and, uh, have a very active investing business in the Midwest. Cool, man. I love it. Um, and that's funny that you said, you know, you got your first wholesale done in that seminar and you said it was 3000. I, I think it's written somewhere in like real estate law that your first wholesale deal is going to be between three and 5,000. Everybody that I talk <laughs> with, that's just, that's just what you make. Mine was, I made 5,000 on that first wholesale. Um, so you guys out there who are thinking about getting into wholesale, that's what you're going to look forward to that first check. It'll go up from there, but you got to start small. Um, so 22, you got started at 21. You made that 3000 in the wholesale or in that seminar. You're stuck, you know, that got you into the game. You're excited. You made the money. 22, you bought 50 houses in a year. That's a big jump going from that first wholesale. Um, what was the transition there? How did you get, how'd you get from one to 50? Yeah. So I, I basically got the right training, which is very important and started just utilizing it over and over. The deal didn't fit wholesale. I would I learned to you know negotiate terms on there to negotiate to make the seller a monthly payment or to cover the mortgage, and so deals were calling me and I it just started working, and so I you know put in all the effort. Felt like quitting about you know thirty times a day for the first six months probably, and so I was building the snowball. And anybody who uh, who follows my YouTube or watches me online will hear me talk a lot about the snowball effect. And I talk about the snowball effect because it's so real, it's momentum. And many of the sellers that I talked to in 2014 while I was building and, you know, struggling, well, 2015 rolled around and boom, it's blowing up. The second thing I did, so two things, number one, I was building a snowball. Number two, I got help. I found a acquisitionist who would call and get deals with me. And now that you know, doubled my business, more than doubled my business than just me doing it by myself and then soon replaced me. Perfect, man. I love it. Um, finding help is, you know, it, you don't realize it until you do it. And then you're like, man, I wish I'd found, found help earlier. I wish I'd partnered with people. I wish I'd hired people. Um, it really does. You know, at the beginning, you always want to take everything on yourself, but that's not the way to scale. Um, and yeah. I love I love how you said snowball effect. Uh, I read, I think it was um, Warren Buffett's book. I think he he titled it the the snowball effect or something like that, or really? uh, <laughs> something along those lines. But it is so true. Once you get started down a path, you know, at the beginning, you just you see this mountain and you're like, no way can I get to the top of that. It's going to be impossible. But you just push the snowball down, and it just you know. Well, I guess this is a bad metaphor because we're talking about going up the mountain, but the snowball is going down. Either way, once you get started down the path, it starts to build on itself and you really do get, get to see that traction. Absolutely. Um, 50 houses in a year though. That's a, that's a pretty quick, that's a quick snowball. That was a, that was a steep yeah. hill that you pushed that snowball down. Uh, yeah. were those main, sorry, keep going. Yeah, I was going to say, and you know, that's the Midwest, you know, I have students and friends in California and, you know, probably not going to get that many, except their profit per deal is a lot higher than mine. Yeah. They're dealing much higher dollar properties. And so, you know, the average price point of those was probably around a hundred grand, give or take. And so it's, you know, in some places you're not even going to pick up a, a doghouse for that. And so, uh, you know, it's dependent, it's all relative, except the point is you, you do less uh, of what it is that's working and replace yourself, have somebody else to do it. When something keep work uh, works, you find somebody to duplicate it, duplicate yourself in it, fire yourself, get the heck out of their way. And, and that's when the snowball really builds. Absolutely. I love it. Um, so you don't, you can't, you know, start that snowball until you find deals. And that's one of the first steps that every new investor, uh, has to 
overcome is finding good deals. So what is the ways that you recommend new investors or even, you know, established investors find great off market deals? Yeah. I always tell people when you're starting, you know, I had no money. And so I had to do everything that was free or cheap. And so, you know, there's Facebook marketplace, there's Facebook groups, there's buying from other wholesalers, there's, uh, you know, banded signs, business cards, all the free and cheap methods that get people calling you. You can hire a cold caller to outbound dial for sell by owners. You can buy and skip trace lists, high equity inherited properties, uh, out of state absentee high equity, all of these different things you can do that are free and cheap. And then once you get going, and for some of you listening to this, your experience, you're already doing deals, then that's when I start cranking some money into some of my favorite sources, which is mailing campaigns, and it's uh, pay-per-click, Google ads and Facebook ads. Yep. Yep. Those are, I mean, that's what we we use too. Um, that is pretty much the the tried and true method. Google ads, though, you know, I would say it is, uh, unless you're relatively technical, I would not go there first um, because I sunk money into Google ads, man. And uh, I'm sure you guys, you've got to the point where you really nailed it down and that takes time. It takes budget. Um, So what is your experience with Google ads? How long did it take you to kind of master that? Yeah. So I didn't know about them until I was already doing deals. And then I found a guy who, so, so, Hire people to do what they do best. And and we as investors should do what we do best. What's the three things you should do as an investor? Get leads, follow up, get contracts. Then what should you do? Get leads, follow up, get checks. <laughs> that's buying and that's selling. It's all business. And so uh, for me, it's finding the person who does it good. So I found a guy out of Texas who had really dialed it in and he just charged me per lead. Oh, okay. At the time nearly a decade ago, you know, what is that years ago now? Uh, he, he charged me $80, $80 or $85 a lead and he paid the ad spend. So, well, that's kind of my risk removal on wasting money on Google ads, except, uh, what if I call 10 leads and I don't buy one, that's $800. And so for, it's finding the people who know what they're doing, paying them to do it. And, and again, getting out of their way, because what happens then is, the snowball starts to build. And now I have multiple Google ads uh, campaigns that work. But if you do it yourself or you hire a company to run them for you, you can be expect to be out several thousand dollars before you actually start getting results for sure. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so one of the things that you like to coach, you know, new investors, established investors on, or I guess this would more be established is how to take your business to the next level. Um, I know that's something that you're passionate about. So what is, you know, someone who's, who has started and they have a little bit of a little bit of traction, how do you coach them? What are the, the main things that you suggest they do in order to get to that next level? Yeah. And it, you know, it depends on what someone is, is needing uh, and what level they are. You know, I have people who are I have done one deal and are just needing to get more leads so they can, they can do deals. I have people that are doing three or four or five deals a year going, man, I, you know, I've been using the burr method. I need to, I need to be able to surpass my credit. Well, obviously that's the terms business the subject to the owner financing and working with the sellers. And then I have people who are doing a deal or two a month, but they're, you know, it's nothing but a high paying job for them. And that's where I say, you know, it's time to get help. In the beginning, that help might be a virtual assistant, might be an admin, might be something simple. And then, you know, where I really dial in is getting an acquisitions manager, someone who negotiates the deal for you, makes sure the leads are coming in for you, gets the contract signed for you with just your approval. And then once that they're, they're uh, you, you get the deal, they're the ones getting the buyers calling you. They're the ones negotiating with the buyers and they're the ones getting the checks for you. And so once you really get to that next level, really bypass yourself and fire yourself from your company, you can, the the world, the the house world is your oyster. You can do a deal a month. You can do five deals a month. What do you care? It's just a matter of focusing on the business rather than in it. Yep, absolutely. That's uh, the E-Myth Mastery is one of the first books I read when I, when I really got into um, real estate and business. And that's exactly what they, they preach. Um, I love it. So, um, just looking at my notes here. So when you, I mean, the, the, the 
levels that you suggested to take, um, it's actually exactly what I did. I first started with a VA. Um, and I think I almost wish I started earlier because a VA, you can get them really cheap. Look on Upwork. Um, you know, it's great to have somebody in States, but they're always going to be more expensive. If you don't have a big budget, Upwork is great. You can get a VA and they can really help automate the things that take so long. Um, real estate, it is, it's very, there's a lot of minutia that does need to happen. Um, and VAs, yeah, they start earlier than you think. And then the next one that I got was an acquisitions guy. And that's exactly like you talked about. Um, so I think that you're really onto something. If you're, if you're getting started, start with a VA. And then once you get some traction, get that acquisitions guy and you can really start to move it forward. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you guys have had traction. You, you are the, your snowball is rolling down the hill. Um, what is next for you? What is, what's in the future for your business? Yeah. So, uh, next for me again is helping as many entrepreneurs as I can get to that next level. You know, I, I buy, I think this year I've averaged doing, I don't know, eight, nine, 12, I don't know, 10, 10 plus deals a month, I would say. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, I have a, I have a substantial business, uh, uh, automated business. And so it's, uh, you know, maintaining that because I, I really, uh, I'm moving into some multifamily. I've been dabbling in that for several years. Uh, but as far as my time, my passion, it's to help as many people as I can level up. That's where I find, uh, uh rewarding, um, do, I do events, uh, helping people level up. I, I do the working with them, you know, masterminds, helping them level up. And, and for me, it's just helping entrepreneurs uh, have the life they dream, have the cash flow they dream, have the time freedom they dream of without having to uh, to be, you know, tied in to what they thought was going to be freedom, but wound up being nothing but a higher paying, more demanding job. Perfect, man. Preach it. I love uh, I love that purpose. Um, and especially real estate, it's such a good uh, tool to use to get you that, that time and financial freedom. Yes. So I I did take a peek at the clock. It looks like we have run through our 15 minutes. So it's time to jump into the quick question round. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. It starts with books. I'm a big bookie. So give me two recommendations, one for general life wisdom and one for real estate specific. Ooh, I must say real estate specific getting to the next level is traction by Gina Wickman. Okay. That is huge, a uh, massively uh, helpful and, uh, oof, life wisdom. That's a tough one. There's so many good ones. I, um, I have to think about that one a second for life wisdom, you know, something, and it, it may clout sound cliche cause I, I love thinking grow rich, but for me, the most wisdom I've ever gotten is out of the book of the Proverbs straight out of the Bible. Proverbs is solid. That's, uh, that's, you know, little snippets of wisdom that, um, that can go a long way. Every success book I've ever read comes straight out of there. So perfect. I love it. And yeah. traction, you're actually the first person we've done more episode. I don't know, 270 something. Um, you're the first person to recommend traction. So I love hearing new recommendations. That's something maybe I'll have to pick up. You'll love it. Let's move us on. We're going to the next question. This is for your younger self. So if you could go back to the Andrew who was just buying that, let's say he was just in that, um, that seminar, he was picking up the phone, calling for that first $3,000 check, go to him, look him in the eye, give him one piece of advice moving forward. I'd say whenever something starts to work, focus in on it. Don't get shiny object syndrome or distracted. I've uh, made a lot of money doing the things I'm good at and building up the team. And I've lost a lot of opportunities and time by distracting the things that I wasn't good at and shouldn't have ever distracted to. Man, that is good advice. Um, getting, I mean, shiny object syndrome is a very real thing, especially yeah. in real estate. And even for, I mean, it can be, it's, it can even go down to like asset class. Like I, I've bounced between single family. I bought mobile home parks and then self storage. And when you go through so many different kinds of assets, it's, you don't see as much success, as much traction as you do when you really focus in, you dial in the systems for one business type. Um, so I'm glad you said that because that's really good advice. All right, next question. This is for your mentors. Uh, none of us are islands. We all stand on the shoulders of giants. Um, you are no exception. We are all here with each other. So give us 
one mentor who has contributed the most to your success today? You know, that is a tough one to narrow it down to one. Um, I can, I can narrow it down to two. And I, I must say, if I had to narrow down one, it would be Ron Legrand. He's the first one I ever met who opened up my mind in the world of money and uh, real estate and, you know, being able to level up from 30 grand a year to, you know, 30, 40 and 50 grand on a deal. So Ron Legrand would have to be the greatest impact of that shift. And once I started doing deals, my uh, uh, mentor for mindset leveling up my life and, and my mindset has been Marshall Silver, who's became a dear friend of mine too. Perfect. Shout out to, was it John Legrand? Ron Legrand. Ron Legrand. All right. Yeah. Shout out to both of those guys. Thank you for helping Andrew down his path. Uh, and that moves us on to the next question. This is tools. Tools form the backbone of every business. So if you could point to one tool that you could not live without, what would it be? Well, and this may sound too simple. Of course, the phone, because that's where all the deals are made. You know, if you're not dialing, uh, then there's no business. If you're not uh, talking to sellers, there's no business. So the phone would be number one. Uh, a couple of tools that have been very helpful is, of course, a CRM for a follow-up system. And which and, one do you guys uh, use? Uh, FreedomSoft has been a huge asset to me. Okay. And the uh, uh, other tool, this is a little, little tool that many investors use and, and probably most of your listeners know, is just a little app you download on your phone called Easy Calculator. Easy Calculator. I think I, so I've moved on. I'm, I'm in commercial and so I don't use the same tools as the residential guys, but I think when I was in residential, um, I think I downloaded that one and it was pretty good. You just type in the numbers. It tells you the cash flow and all that stuff, right? Tells you a lot of good stuff for the, for the mortgage of payments and yeah, a whole bunch of cool stuff. So nice. I love it. All right. That moves us to the very last question. Uh, this one's for the listeners. You've given us a lot of good advice. I'm sure people want to reach out. So what is the best way for them to get in contact with you? Yeah. Uh, Andrewschlag.com is a good way andrew and then schlag is c-h-l-a-g.com is a great way to uh, to see what i have going on and then as far as following me i have facebook i have instagram and i have tiktok so find me there at uh, andrew schlag perfect i will put all those urls in the show notes so if you guys want to reach out to andrew just go ahead and click the little more in the description it'll pull down the full description and in there you can find andrew's urls so Andrew, that wraps it up again. I appreciate you uh, hopping on, you know, even if you had to get in the car, I appreciate you making it onto the show today. Great being with you, Gabe. Thanks so much and uh, stay awesome. I'll see you soon. All right. And for everybody who's right. here with us today, thank you guys for showing up. You are the reason we do this. So if you guys have any questions whatsoever, reach out to me, Gabe at the real estate investing club.com. Other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic week. Keep rocking real estate. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Real Estate Investing Club. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode as much as I enjoyed putting it on and were able to pull some actionable advice that you can apply in your own investing today in the field. Before you go, we have a gift for you. If you're a new investor looking to get started or an established investor looking to invest, take your investing to the next level, I've created an ebook just for you available on our website. This ebook, ebook will cover how I was able to create both active and passive income in real estate with very little money to start with. In it, I will address the three most often cited obstacles new and veteran investors run into by showing you how to find deals that are actually deals, how to finance a deal with little to no money down, and how to exit those deals for maximum value. And if you get the ebook today, I am throwing in a bundle of bonuses, seven of them to be exact. To, the first one will be the off-market lead generation blueprint, which will take you through the exact systems and processes we use to generate off-market leads like, clock, like clockwork, which is the most important skill when it comes to creating wealth in real estate. The second bonus is the A to Z REI systems and vendors guide, which will allow you to peek under the hood of our business and see the exact tools, systems, and even the vendors we use to see the success that we do. And the third bonus is the top 100 best performing keywords pack, which is which will give you the exact keywords we use to target motivated sellers online using PPC ads. The fourth bundle is, or the first fourth bonus is our contracts bundle for wholesaling and renting real estate, which will give you access to all the contracts we use in the field to execute all different types of transactions. 
After that is the investor's quick analysis calculator and offer tool, which will allow you to quickly calculate whether a deal is an actual deal and will allow you to create an offer automatically with, from those calculations. This is a lot, of, uh, a lot of bonuses that I said. I'm just going to keep going down the list. Number six is the investor's daily success tracker, which is a tracker you can use to ensure you are taking the right actions day in and day out to reach your financial goals in real estate. And the last bonus is the wholesalers template for quick assignment cash, which will give you the templates we use to present our wholesale deals professionally and efficiently to our buyers. Whew, that is a bundle. So it's a mouthful. You get all of those bonuses for free when you download the ebook. All we charge is the admin cost to run the show. So if you're interested in the ebook and the bonus bundle, head on over to the website at therealestateinvestingclub.com. Click on get the ebook bundle at the top of the page to take advantage of that deal. And with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and even better week. Keep rocking real estate. And I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thank <music> you.